for this video, what I want to do is um, show you how to list the distinct proper subsets of a given set. So the set that we're given is cat, dog, and fish. Um, remember that the number of distinct proper subsets can be found by the formula 2 to the n minus 1, where n is the number of elements. So since I have three elements inside of this set, we would take 2 to the third minus 1, which gives us 7. So when we're finished, we should have a total of 7 subsets listed out. Remember that the proper subsets exclude the original set. So the difference between distinct subsets and distinct proper subsets is the proper subsets do not include the original set, where just a regular distinct subset would include the original set. So when we're starting with this, we would not put cat, dog, fish because we're looking for the proper ones. So we would just start with our pairs that can be formed from these, okay? Cat and dog versus dog and cat, you cannot differentiate between them. They are the same thing. So with this, it doesn't matter what order you put them in. You just don't want to pair it up more than one time. So the next one that we could form is cat and fish. And then the last pair that we can do that we haven't done yet is dog and fish. And then once you're done with all of the pairs that can be formed with this, um, then you would just list the single elements. So we could have the set just containing cat. We could have the set just containing dog. Or we could have just fish. And then don't forget that you always have to include, whether you're talking about a distinct proper or whether you're talking about just distinct subsets, the empty set is always included in your list of the distinct proper subsets. Okay, so just to recap, remember that to figure out how many sets you should have listed for the distinct proper subsets, you can just take two to the n minus one. And as we count through, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven subsets listed from cat, dog, and fish. So we know that we have all the answers written down. Remember that cat and dog versus dog, cat, is the same subset. Those are known as equal sets. So you don't want to list equal sets. Once you have it included, we're looking for distinct arrangements. Um, so cat dog is the same as dog cat. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.